Beyond Wrestling lit up Paul Crockett alongside MLJ. And we have another tag team match here as the Doom Patrol takes on the Twisted Sisters. Another big tag team match for the Pazuzu boys we saw earlier. LAX take on Team Pog, and, and now the Doom Patrol taking on another very formidable team in the Twisted Sisters of Thunder Rosa and Holiday. Starting off here with the Master of Yow, Jaka against Thunder Rosa. And then th this is very intriguing to me. I'm curious to see how these two teams mesh. Of course, the Doom Patrol, former Evolve Tag Team Champion, so they have had their share of success in independent professional wrestling. Two guys have known each other basically for life. Oh, yeah. They grew up together. They've hit the roads together. So this is, this is a bond deeper than just professional wrestling. Yeah, t deeper than your typical tag team partnership. I mean... Jocko looks a little nervous here. He looks a bit apprehensive. It looks like he doesn't quite know what to make of uh, his opposition here. And it looked like right in the very beginning he was taking things a little bit lightly, but I, I think he's changing his tune up a little bit. Collar and elbow tie up, center of the ring, and Jocka gets the control. He does have the size advantage. I, I think that's going to be the story for the majority of the evening. Uh, that's just how it is. And a headbutt there from Jaka. And Doom Patrol, no stranger to intergender wrestling in beyond, falling short to Team Pog at last year's American Rana. So for those that might think, well, they have a clear advantage here. Well, they've been an intergender and they've lost before. Yeah. And then the thing you gotta remember, it, it, it only takes three seconds. That's it. Jaka, girls are out of the corner. And he ate what was either a, a, a foot or a knee, I'm not entirely sure, but she didn't capitalize when she had the chance. Here's one aspect that I'm curious to see in this contest. Doom Patrol has faced a lot of unique teams. Nice, Luch arm drag from the top. As we get back to action here, Springboard do another one. Very nicely done. Beautiful arm drags out of Thunder Rosa, and it looks like she's primed, ready to fly here, and lit up. And now Doom Patrol's arguing, but they get out of the way, but I don't think Jaka sees what's behind him. He sure does now, he got taken down to the floor, seated senton, and now strikes, a, looked like a series of right hands in Chris Dickinson. Almost a modified Luthes press there, turned yeah. into. But the one aspect that I was talking about earlier that I'm curious to see here is Doom Patrol going to get a little thrown off by the, let's just say, theatrics, the personalities of Twisted Sisters? They're definitely unique, that's for yes. sure. And not, not your regular run-of-the-mill professional wrestler. Frankly, I think Chris Dickinson could see a ghost in his bedroom and he wouldn't flinch, but... We'll see how that comes out here tonight when he's in there with Thunder Rosa and Holiday. Let's not forget, I mean, we talked about Matt Riddle's busy night. Uh, Chris Dickinson, he hasn't had an easy day. I mean, no. Anytime you have to fight Dan the Beast to sever and then <laughs> still have to do things later. Yeah, that's not really a good day at the office. Talk about a weird day. He went from fighting Dan the Beast Severn, involved in a four-way tag team match at Evolve, and now he's in there with the Twisted Sisters. Wow, well, the, the, the schedule that these men and women keep during this particular week is, is just mind-boggling. Truly the best athletes on the face of this earth able to be able to keep the schedule that they do. Chris Dickinson's day has been like a bad acid trip. Just started out weird and it keeps but you know getting what? stranger. You know what, for him, he probably loves every single yeah. second of it. Good point. Dirty Daddy, a little bit to the uh, right and left of normal sometimes. He's a little bit out there. He's <laughs> putting it mildly. But he's a crazy competitor. He just ran through Holly Dead. Falcon Arrow sits out with it. Back press, far leg hook, but Thunder Rosa came in for the save. 
course, Chris Dickinson at one time in Beyond Wrestling is putting himself in the running to be the ace of Beyond Wrestling in various singles competitions, but really has focused more on his tag team with Jaka in the last couple of years. And I think it's been very successful for him. Of course, getting into Evolve Wrestling and having success there. So it's been a great run for these two. Yeah, certainly. Both men's careers have certainly blossomed over the course of the past, uh, I guess, about four or five years, I'd say. And as Dickinson was in singles competition, Jocko was teaming frequently with EYFBO. And I thought they were one of the best six-man teams in the world. Nice DDT by Jocka, channeling Jake the Snake there. Yeah, she got stuffed. And I don't know how she got out of that thing. And this is wow. where Doom Patrol excels, cutting the ring off, wearing their opponent down. Dickinson with that hard body karate, as we heard earlier in the night in Bloodsport. Never thought I'd hear somebody representing hard body karate by a ring announcer, but this is a first for everything here at the whole WWN Live experience. That's just more words to add to my repertoire at some point, because there's precedent set for it. There you go. I'm all about it. Holly Dad's got to find a way out of this armbar. Oh, maybe not that way. No. Nope, that's not the way she wanted, I don't think. If there is an ideal way to get out of an armbar, that was not it. That's the direct opposite. <laughs> and now Dickinson just pulling up on the on the neck here, causing a lot of strain on the neck, the upper back, even the lower back. And Dickinson has a reputation for being a hard striker, sort of a wild, unchained sort of character, but he can get in there and be clinical as well. Went to the eyes. Oh, reversal. Didn't get the kick fully, but was able to connect a little bit with the palm, it looked like, and a spine buster takes Dickinson down, and this is the opening she has been looking for. Yeah, but it's, it's not gonna come easy for her because look at who's in between the two Twisted Sisters. Chris Dickinson is laying on the mat. Uh, Holly Dead's gonna have to... Okay, there we go. Dickinson was more hurt than we thought. There's the tag. Nice strikes by Thunder Rosa. Pushed off the ropes. Oh, shit. Horicon Rana that Jocka did not see coming. Maybe a backslide, no. Nice code breaker there. And Thunder Rosa waiting on Jocka to get in position. What is she looking for here? Little, little tribute to Eddie there. A little shimmy, but she found a show tape for her trouble. Here comes Jocka. He eats the boot. She's up top. This could be huge if she hits it. She or a Frankensteiner. No. I thought she might have waited too long, but she was still able to pull it off. Ooh. If you have momentum on your side, uh, you can do some great things. And that's exactly what happened there, but now she's in a bad way. And that momentum has been lost, but no, she got it right back, swinging DDT. Great wherewithal from Thunder Rosa to be able to get that counter in. Nice dive to the floor, and Dickinson is down. Jocko with the roll up. No, two count only. And now the Twisted Sisters both in the ring. And let's see if they can do something to finish off the Jocka man. They're putting together a nice combination of moves here in the corner. In the Doom Patrol corner, actually. Look at this double teamwork, big splash. And Dickinson able to break it up just in time. I thought that was it for the yow. Yeah, you know, it would have been if Chris Dickinson wasn't able to slip in there right beside Holly Dad, who was a little bit too late. Oh my goodness. That was a brutal German suplex. Drop kick out of the corner from Thunder Rosa. 
And she got wiped out from that right hand. Her legs were wobbly right there. Huge power bomb. Sit out with it and no. I was getting ready to say sit out with it and count to three, but evidently not. Jaka trying to rally this crowd behind the Doom Patrol. And it looks like he wants to finish this one with an exclamation point. What kind of double team move are they gonna pull out here? Dickinson, manhandling, ragdoll. Absolute brute strength. Wow, able to get her up on the shoulders into the doomsday position, but she's wiggling out. Jaka is down. Nice German suplex. And Jaka is in no man's land. He does not want to be here. Big superplex. But they're not done. Ali that drags Jaka closer towards the corner and a back senton off the top. Thunder Rosa with the leg hook by Dickinson once again making the save for his team. Dickinson able to rally. This has been a great back and forth contest. But now it looks like Doom Patrol could have the advantage once again. Dickinson calling for Pazuzu Bomb. He's got her up. Oh, running Mafia kick. And a super kick. And a brutal chop. She ducked out, but she came right back up and landed herself a chop to the face. Double axe across the back, and Jaka picking up steam. Runs into a boot of his own. Here double we go, underhook. double underhook. Now what are they thinking? The Twisted Sisters have something else that they're, oh, on his face. Face buster pedigree combo. Double stop to the back. Dickinson's not around, and the Twisted Sisters pick up the victory. Huge win. You're all your best, you're